Yo, what's good? Welcome to part two of making portal presets. This time I'm gonna show you how to make advanced presets. We're essentially gonna take what we learned in part one and put them to use, try to make presets, try to be as creative as possible. So no talking, let's just get right into it. All right, so lately I've been making a lot of portal presets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a starter sound real quick. So I'm gonna just pick up a one shot from a kit I just dropped actually. And then we're also gonna pick a MIDI. Now, obviously, if you really have a certain preset in mind, that is going to help. But if you're just trying to make presets and just trying to find anything new and creative, then essentially you just be tweaking all these knobs here. How I usually like to start is I usually always put the wet knob down a little bit and I leave this dry knob all the way at 100% just so I can hear it, how it's actually going to sound. I think what I'm gonna do is add uh, a little line here. I'm gonna go with this curve sine wave. I'm gonna put this on the size and then I'm gonna right click it, go to set bipolar, which I didn't explain this in my other video. Set it to bipolar, which goes from either end. So if you bring this up or down, whatever, it's gonna go to either end. Hear that? I can make it super dramatic so you can really hear it. It's kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, do it like this. Now what I like about this curve is I can probably add this onto a reverb. So I could just add this on the dry, bring this down a little bit and then bring this to up. Now what I've been doing a lot recently with reverb is I would want this to be customizable. And so when I put the macro dob, I'll put them all the way down to 0% of course. And with the width, I put this a little bit lower. Cause then with the macro two, put it onto all the three knobs here. And I increase it just a little bit. When you raise this knob here, it's gonna increase the parameters here. do is remove this from the reverb and actually just have another knob here then i'm gonna do this one probably and just put it here then i'm gonna do this here have them going the other way and we could also do is put it on put another effect on put the, of course the dry wet knob down put a slot here increase it also do the same thing with the uh, stages you know any of this let me change the midi and make it a little bit more next up what we could do is put a macro on the shape so we can make it a little bit more longer Probably drag this out a little bit. Goes with part two on the scale. Now, what I also like to do on this knob is I want to put it on the on the master, so we can put a little cutoff. I'm gonna do it after the grain delay. So let's just try this. Try, let's try to see how this sounds like. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a knob here, here, take a note of the time signature. It's at 118. I think I'm gonna just leave that like that. And I'm gonna, if you want it to be at 57, I want the automation to reach at 57, 58. What you wanna do is you wanna bring this down and from here, you wanna increase it from the, the knob in which you're gonna be automating. So it's macro one for me. And so you just grab it up here. So this is where it's gonna reach at the end. Might change this a little bit, maybe make this sooner. Now for the pitch, of course, we're gonna do go to we're gonna go to octaves. Or I'm gonna just leave it like this here. 
And this pitch is going to go up to two. And what I also like to do is maybe add one on the LP low pass and just have a little bit up. I'm going to change this actually to a uh, And here you could add you could put like blaze You could put like life here or room whatever you guys want now. This is now this is with it or this is without it And then this is with it Now my favorite part about these knobs, of course, you can mix match. You can bring it up a little bit, bring this down like this, have this all the way up. Or you could just, of course, use this visualizer, which does exact, exactly the same thing. Let's actually save this one. Let's call it, call it a neon. All right, let's choose another MIDI. There's one MIDI that I really like here. This one. Now, this is with the same preset on. Alright, so I'm just gonna go to the default preset, of course, and just make another one. I'm gonna set this to bipolar. Maybe add a design here. on this is one of my favorite uh, effects you actually use I like to however customize the knobs here of course do the same thing how we did last time now one thing also that's pretty pretty cool is having one control the dry effect and having the other one control the the knobs so how I did it like this and just put it back at zero whatever you know you could just do it like this Boom. So we burn this up. Especially since this one is going with the pitch, you're going to want to at least filter some of the low end or the high end. So you could just do this with the filter. And you could also, with this, you could also put some reverb. It's just a lot of just, you know, being cre creative with it. Put some reverb this is put the crusher put some reverb on dampen nuts don't you don't want to put too much damping it's going to be too much reverb it's just a little bit you know and then the size of course that's to taste Now you could also control the size here, of course. So you could just bring this here, go to it however long you want it. Now, because you got that little sound, so luckily that's where there's this master high pass and low pass cutoff. This is where you automate that, of course. So in the low pass, you can automate however you like, so that when you go up, it's gonna low pass that hole. Could also do the feedback here and just have it go up and increase this knob. You can call this, you know, space. You could put this heaven or whatever you guys want to name it, really. Now here, I just want to show you some of my portal presets for my Moon Stether kit and just show you some examples of what you guys could possibly do. So I'm gonna just go to some of my favorite presets here. So let's go to Milky Way. 
and just peep on what every knob does so like for the example of this time knob has noted to your time it's going to of course move the time as well as going to bring down the size the shape so of course it's going to make it shorter now this fatness of course controls the feedback the chorus and the count here Like this is one of my favorites the virgo preset right here it controls the size here so it controls the density the size and the feedback so as this goes up the size goes up the density goes down the feedback goes up and the exotic here it controls reverb phaser and oh this also controls a little bit of the of the low pass because as the feedback goes up it's gonna go up and this also controls the low pass so let's just hear how it sounds like at a zero so now it's a little bit more smoother and then turn up the exotic hear that of course the possibilities are endless guys this one so this one i have this rate rate going at one bar and this one going at four bars so that this one goes up to one to one octave while this one goes up to the second octave however they're playing at two different times that's also one trick you guys could also do um it's just really being creative about it guys um this ghost knob here controls the low pass the size you hear that it's a, it's a lot but it's a lot more smooth like a lot more soothy you hear that and this space knob of course controls the, the high pass it controls delay it controls the pan but yeah guys that's essentially it hope you guys learned some sauce from this um and a better understanding of portal this portal plugin is pretty much as much as you can make it to be so you can do so much with this plugin especially with the amount of customizable knobs there is and like the automation and the and the mod and all that good stuff man it's insane so hope you guys learn how to make some presets and you guys can actually start making your own preset banks of course always test out your presets save them and then go back to them and test them out because sometimes if you save them and then you do something else and then like it just mix it up so make sure you just always check double check them and yeah let me know if you guys want to watch anything else I'm, i am going to break down some other plugins so let me know what you guys want to see me break down but yeah make sure you guys follow me on ig ig i'm score sway flow get me close to a thousand followers i did just drop my new store called flow stay audio a producer resource company and i'm super excited to introduce that to you guys um the page is kind of not finished if you guys go into my moon stellar kit you're gonna see that it's missing a lot um it's missing sound previews i haven't found a way to put the audible clickable sounds there yet but it's coming but for everything else it's essentially there so um i recommend checking it out i got two new kits up there you guys can actually get those two kits for the price of one um if you guys want to get them together i highly recommend doing that that will only be a limited time but yeah make sure you guys join the discord as well got some sauce cooking up in there and yeah essentially that's it see you both in the next one deuce